just doing a little quick hive inspections here for the honey flow and I say quick because guys I mean quick when you're checking for adding boxes for the honey flow um, I'm not doing any sort of checks down in the brood nest I'm not looking for queen I'm not checking for food I'm not checking for none of it all I'm checking to see is that they need boxes added and so all you're looking for is is your uppermost box 60 to 70 percent drawn out no you know people will say drawn people will say in use but if 60 to 70 percent of your upper box is drawn out whether or not those combs are full yet add another box okay right now in the honey flow for us anyway down here with chinese tallow going they can draw out a five frame deep or even a 10 frame deep depending on the size of the hive in a couple of days um so from the way i handle it these are weekly checks i go through i pop the lid look at the top box if it's 60 to 70 percent i throw on a box onto the next one i went through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen hives and i'm going to say about 10 maybe 15 minutes uh, and that counted walking back and forth to get a fresh box off the stack that counted tearing one down that was um absconded and you know trying to put all it away so it shouldn't take you a long time this is quick um but the whole point is you're just adding boxes as needed real quick there's no harm at this point in the game there's no harm if you add an extra box when they didn't really need it to because you're going to be back in this hive in another five to seven days anyway so you can check then and see if you want to pull that box off or add another one anyway just wanted to share that uh just caught a little queen. I got a guy coming this evening who needs to buy a queen. So I just pulled her out of one of my hives. Uh, actually, funny enough, I checked that hive purely random. Found a queen. Uh, she looks mated, but they still had queen cells. So I actually took her, put her into this number 32, and took the proven mated queen out of 32. And that's who I've got here in the cage. So did a little switcheroo on the queens, but it made me feel a little better about giving a guy a queen that's proven um and also taking advantage of that new queen that was in that box and all those queen cells that are still about ready to merge out anyway checking boxes adding for honey so here's our queen from yesterday hard to get a look at her in there but she's still in there crawling around still looks healthy the bees are crawling on the outside of the cage happily they're not trying to ball the cage trying to fight with her so we've been about 12 hours now at least more than that really that she's been in here and the old queen's been gone we're going to pull our plug and see if she comes out here. Maybe she already did. Oh, there she goes. Whoop, down she went. <clears throat> oh, I got mosquitoes. Freaking mosquitoes all over me. Whew, early morning out here by the beehives. Mosquitoes are thick. You have to put your bee suit on just to keep the mosquitoes off. Let's see if we can find her in here on the frame. Ouch. Oh my god! Oh my god! <clears throat> there she go. Nope. She went on the frame next to it. I honestly don't know. Look at that. That's where I swatted a mosquito. Oh my god! I honestly don't know if I can stay out here long enough to play with you guys like I want to. These mosquitoes are rough. I wasn't really planning on coming out here first thing. Gotta put on bug spray. No, nope, she's not there. She's not down on the bottom getting bald. Oh well. We saw her run out, at least. I think she'll be okay. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta cut this off. I gotta close this box up. These mosquitoes are killing me. Anyway, mosquito, uh, <laughs> the queen, not the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes look great. The queen looks good too, though.